Ghost of Tsushima was one of those games that I always thought looked really cool and had high potential, but I didn't exactly feel a ton of hype for it. But as we got closer to release, I started to really feel it, and after cruising right past the 6 hour mark, I can confidently say that I'm loving this game. Ghost of Tsushima's gameplay works for me in a way that previous samurai games didn't. I've always been hot garbage at parrying, but the system here is just lenient enough that it's easy to get a grasp on. The sword fighting in this game is excellent, and it feels fantastic to string together a chain of kills. I love walking into a small camp, starting a standoff, cutting a couple guys down, and then just cleaning up the rest in a few quick strikes. My only real issue with the combat is that there's no lock-on feature, which can make it really annoying to track your target, particularly when you're being circled by several different enemy types. The stealth in Ghost of Tsushima is really well done. You have a lot of tools at your disposal that you unlock as you progress through the game, as well as plenty of areas to hide and travel between without being spotted. To this point, I also haven't had a situation where I've tried to assassinate someone and accidentally attacked with a regular attack and blew my cover, which is something that tends to happen from time to time in other games. It's just a really good stealth system and it feels good to play. I also like how the concept of stealth killing is something that's actually confronted within the context of the story which is kind of neat. As for the larger story, it seems fairly straightforward. Not to go into any spoilers here, but I've met a few characters with their own storylines and it feels like I'm in the really early stages of the story. The game is massive and when I look at the map, it looks like I've barely explored it, so I'm not nearly deep enough in to see anything drastic in terms of story. I hope the game doesn't get too big, but Ghost of Tsushima is also really leaning hard into the samurai thing and it's cool. I like it a lot. Everything from the story and atmosphere to the music and visuals just screams samurai. The dialogue scenes look kinda weird, but it very much looks like an artistic decision to match the visuals of an old school samurai movie. So Sucker Punch really wants you to feel like you're in feudal Japan, and I think they've definitely succeeded at that. Ghost of Tsushima is a freaking gorgeous game. Every time I run over a hill or climb a mountain, I feel like I'm seeing something that was specifically designed to blow me away. Some of the sightlines in this game are just breathtaking. Unfortunately, Ghost of Tsushima is held back by this terrible frame rate versus graphics thing. I think it sucks that we're forced to choose between top graphics or a consistent frame rate on consoles right now, and I'm praying that goes away with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. I really want to see Ghost of Tsushima's graphics at their best, but it's just not worth the constant frame rates to do so. I haven't messed with the photo mode at all, but I can see amping the graphics up for that being worth checking out. Sucker Punch did a great job with Ghost of Tsushima, and I'm having a great time with it. I have no idea how long it's going to end up being, but I'm going to be streaming a ton of it over on my Twitch channel. If you're interested in checking that out, the link for that will be down in the description. In the meantime, I need to get back to playing this game.